Hi everyone, today I'm going to be filming a chatty get ready with me video because it's been a while since I last did a video and I felt like just coming back and doing something really kind of casual. I can kind of update you as to what's going on with me and my life at the moment. I'm going to be doing my makeup in the meantime as well. I'm going to be doing like a bit of like a summer glam makeup look, just a look that I've been going to recently and really like. It's quite bronzy, quite glowy. It is quite heavy makeup so it is more for like an, uh, a party or an event or something um, but it is that kind of summery look I suppose. So I think I might also put the radio on at different intervals as well because I find that sometimes when I'm trying to concentrate on something it's hard for me to talk as well when I'm doing like my mascara and stuff like that so I will put the radio on as well so we can listen to some music because a lot of you liked my get lit get ready with me video as well so it's not completely that it's kind of like a mashup of like a chatty get ready with me and a few songs in as well so the day I'm filming this is actually the 11th of July I believe and it's the day that the England team are going into their semi-final um, World Cup game against Croatia so at the minute it's about six o'clock and it starts at seven so I'm not too sure how long I've got to film this because I do want to watch it um, but that's one thing I'll talk about in the video is that I have suddenly become a football fan. I'm gonna get started. Do excuse my skin at the moment it's a little bit blemishy especially on my shoulders and my chest at the minute. I keep breaking out I don't really know why that is I think it might be hormonal but I have no idea so yeah just excuse that and obviously I've caught the sun as you can see my uh, cheeks and my nose is like a little bit red and all my freckles have come out in the minute because we are going through like a heat wave in the UK although it's kind of turned into just like our normal weather so I'll start with primer I'm going to be using the CYO illuminating mixing cream which is a product that I love have mentioned lots of times now and it's just great this is in the shade razor glass I'm just applying it with a like angled brush this is from the brand Luxie Beauty it's their 504 large angle brush I haven't done a video now in getting on for about two months which is really bad and I wasn't intentionally doing that I took a few weeks off in May kind of time because I thought I really want to focus on my exams and I just haven't really got around to filming videos and I kind of lost my mojo for making videos for a bit as well I've now obviously finished all my exams and I have finished college now for the summer so I've got lots of free time now so I really want to invest the time while I have it into YouTube again and Instagram as well because I've been neglecting that as well as you can see this makes my face look really shiny but underneath foundation it just gives it a really nice glow for foundation I'm going to be using the sleek life proof foundation in the shade 02 this is a little bit light for me at the minute but I don't really have any foundations that are my shade at the moment and I'm just using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge to apply this so since my last video I did my exams and I think they went okay I don't know if they went okay because I was just doing it all wrong or if they did actually go okay but I'll find out the results to that next month I think so yeah not that long now to wait quite intrigued to see what the results are for those and then hopefully I'll be going back to finish my A-levels in September as long as I get the right grades to continue. Hopefully that all goes to plan. I'm doing continuing sociology and English literature and language and I'm starting a new course in September which I've got the entry requirements for already so I don't need to worry about that and that's media because I did psychology last year and I just didn't want to continue it on for another year so I've chosen to do media instead because I did media in school at GCSE and I really enjoyed it and I did really well in it and got an A star I think it was in the end so I'm quite intrigued to see what that's like at AES level and yeah hopefully I'll enjoy that as well so that's what I'm going to be doing in the next academic year so from september to may kind of time and then that's it i'm gonna leave college for good I just put some concealer on i'm using the bourgeois radiance reveal concealer which i absolutely love it's really really good so i'm gonna put on some cream contour this is from a brand called lorixi cosmetics and it's in the shade aloha i'm guessing it's just called like a contour stick or something i'm not too sure i got it in my glossy box so it's not something i actually bought I'm just gonna use this to bronze up my skin a little bit because that foundation is a little bit on the lighter side okay so as you can see i've now blended in the contour stick my camera cut off so i've 
might have lost the footage for that I'm not too sure now I'm gonna put on some powder I'm gonna use this one which is from Clinique it's their beyond perfecting powder foundation and concealer but I'm just gonna use it as a powder and it's in the shade ivory the reason why I'm using this is because it's quite dark so I feel like it'd be quite good for keeping my skin looking more like matching my body rather than looking quite pale and the brush I'm gonna be using is from blank canvas cosmetics it's their f20 brush it's just like a flat kind of kabuki style brush but not a lot for me is going on at the moment at the minute i'm just kind of enjoying summer while it lasts and this summer especially i really want to focus on like it sounds so cliche and cringy but i really want to focus on like developing myself and like kind of finding myself and finding out who i want to be and sort of working on that i feel like for a long time i haven't really sort of known what to do with myself and like what kind of things I want and what kind of person I want to be and so I've just been kind of in contradiction with myself because I sort of think I want things and I don't want them and then yeah I just haven't really been like looking after myself I'm gonna hopefully kind of put a lot more work into myself and building myself and building my like self-esteem and self-worth and um, a lot of issues that I have like surrounding um, my relationships that I have with people and how I treat people and like how I treat myself as well so I really want to hopefully like build on that and become a better person by building on that and working through that by the end of the summer I just want to be a lot happier and sort of know what I want to do and what I want to be and just be a lot more confident in myself as well because I feel like I trick people quite a lot into thinking I'm quite a confident person and I guess in some ways I am quite a confident person but when it comes to a lot of things I'm really underconfident but but when it comes to a lot of things I am actually not very confident and I kind of feel that I'm not worthy of certain stuff and things like that so yeah I really want to work on building that and I also want to work on building on my friendships as well I feel like I've neglected a lot of my friendships and relationships that I have with people and I really want to sort of focus on those as well and hopefully in turn that will also make me feel better by kind of getting rid of there's like certain people that I hold on to that I just shouldn't really hold on to and it's just because for whatever reason I feel like I should but in theory they're like quite toxic people and not people that, in, that I actually want around. I'm hopefully going to work on sort of getting rid of my toxic friendships, relationships kind of thing. By relationships I mean like relationships with people. I don't mean like a romantic relationship because I'm definitely lacking in that department. I also want to look into kind of spiritual uh, beliefs and like exploring that kind of side of the world there's quite a few people that i follow on instagram that talk about that kind of stuff a lot and it's really helped them so i'm hopefully going to look into that and hopefully it might be able to benefit me too yeah all in all it's looking all quite positive i'm glad that i've kind of come to the realization that i need to do this because for a long time i was kind of like oh, i'll just leave it and what will happen will happen which you can't really do with this kind of stuff i am glad that i have kind of acknowledged that i'm not happy being the person i am at the moment by the way i'm just started doing my eyebrows i'm using the eye law fleur de force little kit thing and i'm just using the darker color and the brush i'm using is from bella and bear it's their iberian lynx brush moving on to tv um, and things I've been watching recently. I have been getting into Friday Night Dinner, which is like a comedy. It's quite a stupid program, but it is good and it is funny. So, although at the moment, all I keep doing is saying Shalom and Hello Jackie. I just, in my day-to-day -day life, I just can't stop saying it. It is a good program though. If you are into comedies and stuff, you should watch it. And I just use the Benefit Ready Set Brow, Brow Gel, which I absolutely love. This is really good. I don't normally like Benefit products, but this I really do like, and it just literally sets your eyebrows into place i'm pretty sure i could like literally put this on and do a triathlon and my eyebrows will be like stay put but at the minute my eyebrows are looking really harsh but i promise they will kind of blend in with everything else once i do it i'm gonna put the radio on for a bit because i feel like there's not much else i can talk about for now so i'm gonna put the radio on i'm gonna put some lip balm on as well i'm using the palmer's flip balm in coconut which i really like it's really nice i'm just gonna prime my eyelids with the maybelline color tattoo creamy mattes this one's called creme de nude in terms of eyeshadow i'm actually going to be using a new palette today and this is the blank canvas cosmetics master series palette one this is what the colors look like as you can see a few of them have been swatched but i haven't actually worn this on my eyes before i think i'm going to start with the shades lily 
and core. I'm using these just to set the paint pot kind of thing in place. Otherwise, I find if not my eyeshadows stick to it. I want to create like a bit of like a warm brown smoky eye. So I'm probably going to use the shades Forza. I'm going to use the shade Carmen, Strut, Raisin and Coco as well. And maybe a little bit of Downtown. So quite a lot of colours, but I will put the radio on and just point to them. I'm also going to zoom you into my eye so you can see what I'm doing a little bit clearer as well. I'm going to be using the shade Brazen now. So I am done with the Blank Canvas Cosmetics palette now and now I'm going to move on to this palette which is from Makeup Revolution and it's their Mermaids vs Unicorns palette and I'm going to be using this shade and this shade to create a blue underline. So I just did the blue eyeshadow off camera. I'm now going to go on to the glitter eyeliner and I'm going to be using this one from Collection which is their Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner in the shade Hustle and I'm just going to put this over the top of my eye. Oh babe, don't tease me now, don't try run the mind game, yeah, I love the way it's like that. Hands up in the clouds, on my mountain top, yeah, I love the way you climb down. There's quite a lot has just gone on in the past like five minutes. My camera ran out of charge. I did the glitter eyeliner. I got some in my eye, so my eyes are now watering. England have scored their first goal in the first five minutes of the, of the game, the first five minutes. I was like, oh, it's okay, I'll only miss like 10 minutes of the game. Not a lot's gonna happen in that time. They scored a goal, so yeah, all sorts is going on. I've just heard a chorus of screams across the streets. Like, I did the glitter eyeliner. I just did a simple line over the top and annoyingly, like I say, my camera cut out. So I'm going to move on to, uh, I'm going to put some glitter in the inner corner. And the one I'm using is from Prima and it's their liquid gold press glitter. I do have a discount code for Prima, which I'll leave in the description or on screen if I can remember. And I only remember because they gave me a new one recently. So I do get rewarded if you use it. I think I get points towards more of their products and I actually really like their products. So I'm actually really grateful for that if you do. I'm using this little applicator from Essence, which is actually really good. It's a silicone applicator and it's a glitter and pigment applicator and it's really handy. It's like a, it's shaped like one of those little eyeshadow sponges that you get, but yeah, it's really, really handy and it works really well with these glitters. So all in all, that wasn't quite what I was expecting, but I think I'm happy with that. So while I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna move on to my bronzer and I'm gonna be using this bronzer, which is from Milani. It's their baked bronzer in the shade 04 Glow. I absolutely love this bronzer, even though it's got a slight shimmer to it. It's like a really nice glowy bronzer. The shimmers in it are like gold. So it just, yeah, makes it, your skin look lovely, I find. And I really, really like it. I'm gonna put the radio back on as well, just for a bit, because again, I feel like I've kind of run out of things to say. Now I'm gonna go on to contour and I'm not really using like a proper contour i'm just going to be using the max factor cream bronzer in light gold which is kind of like a contoury color and then i'm also going to use the milani luminoso blush which i absolutely love is one of my favorites uh, so that's contour and blush are done. I used the Loella Contour Diva Katie brush for that. But now I'm going to go on to mascara and I'm going to zoom you in again so you can see my eyes. And the two mascaras I'm using are the new number seven lash extender mascara. And this one, which I got in my glossy box yesterday, I think it was. And I thought I just might as well try out. It's from the brand Aura Flame Sweden. And it's their five in one wonder lash mascara, the one. I've never heard of it before, but it looks all right. So I just thought I'd give it a go. I'm going to use the number seven one first and I really like the wand on this so now 
now I'm going to move on to highlight and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. baked highlighter or I'm not sure if it's baked blush or highlighter but it's in the shade blush gems and I absolutely love this stuff it's so so good and again I think this is really affordable I think it's about five pounds and you can buy it at Superdrug and I literally love it it's so good I'm using the blank canvas cosmetics f15 brush which I also really love for highlighter at the moment works really nicely and yeah just look how amazing it is like the highlighter is just so nice and I always get so many compliments when I wear this it just leaves your skin looking so like glowing and, and beautiful and I love it so finally I'm gonna move on to lips and I'm gonna be using the NARS velvet matte lip pencil in Sierra as a lip liner and then for lipstick I'm gonna be using the number seven stay perfect lipstick in gauge radium which is like bright orange color <laughs> So this is the final look. I do really like it. I think I've taken the glitter down a little bit too far. I think it's a really nice like summer glowy. It's quite a nice just overall look. The kind of look that I keep going for at the minute. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon.